David, we're on this Swiss or Tornos Swiss GT13 machine. I want to know for our viewers what the difference is between a guide bush and a non-guide bush, starting with a guide bush. Guide bush is um, standard sliding headstock setup, so running long slender parts. And when you say long slender parts, I know it varies on the machine, but roughly what sort of parts could you do on this type of machine lengthwise? On here we can do up to 600 mil with long workpiece ejection. Now what about non-guide bush? What's the difference and what's the benefit to having a non-guide bush? Non-guide bush is uh, normally shorter parts that you may associate with a fixed headstock machine, saving on material um, and tooling costs. Okay, now when we talk about the differences between the two, how quickly would it take you to go from one setup to the other, so guide bush to non-guide bush? Um, on here we're looking between 10 and 15 minutes, so a very quick so process. So it'd be fair to say if someone was looking for total flexibility between fixed head type machining and sliding head machining, this is the, uh, this is the answer? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Thank you.